Top updates for ProConnect Tax in 2024, IRS transcripts and amazing reporting. Let's go! Alrighty, so let's start with the most exciting changes for ProConnect. So number one is they added IRS transcripts, which is like awesome. So all you have to do now, you go to the clients and there is a tab IRS transcripts. So we go to request more transcripts and you can connect to the website, IRS website and just have them here. So if you have POA on file on IRS uh, login information, you can just kind of like transfer all information to ProConnect connect so that's like super exciting another really really cool things that happens and they added this reporting things so you can see like basically you can create any dashboard and any like analysis and reporting like per performance whatever you need so it will help you to create this i think this is really good for analytics so let's say you want to say uh see how, how much time you spent on the tax return so for me it's two minutes because i'm a superstar right uh, i mean i actually haven't done any tax return this year yet so that's why it's so small but also there is a cool thing it says average time spent in return per user so you can see like if somebody's working for you you can just go there and see how much time they spent in the tax return which i think it's really cool i love it so this is awesome uh, well, so now let's start with looking what actually changed in ProConnect. So this is on the screen right now. We see my video from, um, was uploaded two years ago. And I, I think I put 2023 here and I'm not sure which year of ProConnect it was. I think it was last year's. Let's assume it was last year's because I think that how it used to look like. And you see the link uh, here if you want to check it out, that video. That video is like super, super detailed is how to prepare 1040 in ProConnect. Anyways, so let's look how it changed. So we have text returns here, clients right here, e-file dashboard here, Intuit links, they just moved and they moved purchase in here, which is, I think it's kind of cool that they created those kind of like, you know, like here's everything under tax and this is like all other solutions and this is purchase. So live chat, they moved in here under help. We can access the live chat there. And let's see, form status, they don't care about this anymore, which makes sense. And like certain things, they just kind of like move it around, but the idea stays the same. So ProConnect changed a little bit, but not too much. I think it looks pretty awesome. Well, so let's just dive in and see what's going on here. So let's start with the help, which is support, right? So we can message, we have a chat and it's like awesome. Actually, this is my favorite part of ProConnect because we can actually like, you know, message somebody and they get back to us and the wait line is not long, but you can also call them. So if you uh, press here, assistant, you can just start uh, messaging the uh, support or you can also go to help portal and it has like lots of materials and obviously they have a phone number that we can call all right so that's a start and also so now i have your attention i can just introduce myself i'm cat i'm a freelancer i worked in the music industry before i work at big four for four years now i'm a freelancer so i work b2b i work with huge cpa companies and I kind of like it. So I know every tech software out there because that's what I use for my work. So if you want to check it out, I also sell online courses. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out my website, Remote CPNLA. But let's go back to ProConnect. Uh, ProConnect is, I really love ProConnect. If I have a choice and the money is not an issue for me and I have like a big practice, I would probably choose ProConnect. And the reason why, because it's the only online, fully online software, tax software available on the market. Uh, there's not, there's nothing really other. And it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It has like, I'll get into details right now, but it's like ProConnect is the top. You can use it on your Mac. Like I used to, I love to use Mac. So I use it on my Mac and you can use it on the whatever because it's just browser. So you can open it anywhere, anytime. It's awesome. And there's supports like this chat thing is really cool. And now they edit like IRS transcripts and like this reporting thing. So it's like beautiful. But uh, it's a little bit more expensive than average tax return. So here we have the pricing they charge per tax return. Depends on how many tax return you're planning to 
uh, prepare. So this is a little bit, mo it's more than average for other tax softwares, but you know what you pay for, right? And they say listed prices 30% off. So I think this is what they offer you first year and you can just uh, call them and ask them. For me, for example, uh, when I go to purchase Similar amount shows up. So let's see. So it says $97.95 per $10.40 and then $117 per uh, business tax return. But they give you this discount if you just do a few. So for me, when I go to purchase tax return, uh, so I have this price a little bit higher. And I think it's because like they give like different people receive different discounts and that's a little bit confusing for me. But I think if you talk to them, they can lock those prices or lower with you for this year. So you can like you can, you know, you can plan it out, plan it out. Also, for a bigger companies, they have like a deals packages. So I think this is pretty awesome. And then the price actually becomes like really like good prices, I think, if you have this like bigger practice. So who do we think ProConnect is for? It's like for somebody who are just starting out and don't mind to pay a higher fee for like really good online based tax software with amazing, amazing support or bigger companies who, okay, like who has this like 100 individual returns and more, then I think this is really awesome. Well, let's, so this is pricing and let's just get into functionality. So let's just go through all of this kind of stuff. So we already talked about help support. So this is where we go. If you have any questions about tax return, anything, they're amazing. Really love them. Uh, settings. So settings here, and this is a place where we first of all enter our IFIN um, information. So we need to enter IFIN information to get approved and then we can e-file. Here is where we convert the data. So if you have a tax return prepared in different tax software, that's where we go to do that. And obviously we set up our prepare information, firm information, things like that. Add, manage, invite users, give them different kind of accesses and stuff like that. So this is here and it looks really nice. I really, really like how it looks like. And let's see, let's, so let's just go through one by one by uh, just going over this menu. So, so tax returns is actually where we see all the tax returns. Uh, so we can sort them by return type, by e-file progress, by e-signature status, by return, whatever, all this kind of stuff. We can also uh, just look only for individuals, only for corporate or whatever we need to do. We can import W2s and things like that in ProConnect, so it's pretty awesome. And I'll show you in a second. So this is tax returns, right? This is where we can see all tax returns, see if you received e-signatures, if this is where you do e-signatures, federal styles, this all kind of stuff. Then under clients, we just see clients. So I would just go there and I can choose a client. And when I open the client, I can create the tax return here if I need to. So whichever tax return I can create. And you know what is the coolest part about this? I don't pay for tax return unless, until I e-file it. And obviously to print return, I kind of need to pay as well. But I can just play around before I e-file. So I think this is pretty awesome. So under clients, we have client list. We have tax return here, tax plans. So tax plans is really cool options. So what it means, it's also somewhere here under, I think tax advisors, they also have tax plans. So, and I'll get into it in a second. So we can create tax plans and I think we have a few credits to just try it out and then we can pay it. It's additional adds on from them. Documents, so all these documents that we can add documents, they all from, so we send the client into a link to get their information and questionnaires. And this is where it all goes later. And obviously we already talked about IRS transcripts. So it's awesome. So let's, let's open the tax return. So when we open the tax return, we have this profile tab and this is where we can add state. So let's say I wanna add state. This is where I do it. So now I have state and I have all this form. So if I need to do federal amended, I check here or extensions or whatever it is. Let's do federal extensions. And then in input, this is where we enter all the information. So let's say we need W2, we go under W2. And this is what I was telling you, we can upload, um, import W2 information if it's in their database. So we just enter EIN and then it will ask me 
well, I don't know, it's probably not going to work with just EIN I just made up, but let's see. Oh, yeah. So basically, it tells me, like, if they would find um, the employer, they would just tell me, oh, provide additional information, like social security, other stuff, and we'll just fill up all this kind of stuff for us. So it's really awesome. To add additional tab, we just go here, new tab, and then we can add new W2, whatever we need. This is beautiful. Uh, cool, uh, cool options in here. So this is where we enter information, right? But we also can do preview form and it will print the return and we can just move it to another, like to the whatever, another um, monitor. And we can just like review as we go. And here we press refresh forms. If you made it change and you want to see how it's changed our tax return. Pretty awesome check return that's where all the forms goes so we can go under input and do preview forms or we can go under check returns and we would have all the forms all the diagnostics we need to clear under file return that's where we file return right it makes sense so if you need to e-file extension i just go here need to clear diagnostics then checks federal extension and then press e-file and this is the moment they ask you oh you need to purchase returns so you can do all of this work practice as much as you want and then you need to do it and to print return we go here print to pdf it also will ask us to i mean obviously we need to fill up information but then we need to purchase return to actually do it so really cool e-file dashboard. That's where we see all information about e-filing into it link. Uh, that's where we request information from the client. So yeah, so we can just tell them upload whatever they want, send them questions, modify it as much as we want. So that's really, really, really awesome. Reporting. I already touched base on this. So it's pretty much you can create any kind of report, internal reporting for yourself and your company. And this is super flexible. I love it. This is like amazing. We can import some information here based on CSV report. So that's cool. Tax advisor. So this is a tax plan that they have. So they have like a couple free limits and then they you like you can start doing it. So what it does, it imports your information from ProConnect from your tax return and then you can like modify it and do whatever you need, projections, stuff like that. Looks really awesome. QuickBooks Online. So you can connect to QuickBooks and import information. Very useful for business tax returns. All solutions, I guess this is just the other stuff they offer, which, well, is signatures. I think this is the only one I would mention because that's super important. So when we go to tax returns, we can purchase or they give you like a couple e-file uh, signature for free. And this is kind of where this e-signature goes. And then we can purchase credits and kind of like send. So here you would, if you have enough credits, you would just have something like, oh, send out to the client for signature. So it's really, really awesome. And let's see. Yeah, so that's kind of it. Uh, well, I hope you find this one, this review helpful. I'll record more videos on ProConnect and other stuff on like text. Um, text like a different kind of like text issues or whatever it is like so if there's any videos you want me to record uh any topics you want me to record videos on please let me know have a good uh, text here talk to you soon thank you for watching my video just a quick interruption i'm sorry i'm sorry just to tell you that i do sell online courses so if you go to the, my website remotecpnla.com it will give you more information about online courses that i sell and what i teach and with more information about me agenda on what we do we have a weekly calls we go over the um different kind of uh, issues or problems we can have in a tech software so in the end of this one month course you'll be able to prepare like a complex text return in any tech software you choose thank you again please continue watching my video <laughs>